All right, we got that. Carson can't keep up with Rodney Dangerfield's nonstop one-liners. Now, make sure y'all hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. This man right here is hilarious, bro. Since I've been reacting to Rodney Dangerfield, I mean, just you talking about crying, laughing, this man is funny. But uh, let's go ahead and dive straight into this. What a crowd, what a crowd. You know, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And I'll tell you, I'll tell you, tonight it's, tonight it's nice. We got a grown up crowd, too, you know. Yeah, I did a show last week for a bunch of teenagers. And these kids carry on today, you can't tell boys from girls. I mean, the girls that wear slacks, fellas let their hair grow. I was talking to somebody and I said, look at that teenager, what's that, a boy or a girl? He said, that's a boy, that's my son. I said, sure, you knew you're his father. He said, I'm not his father, I'm his mother. Oh, God. Oh. I don't know, I tell you, life isn't easy. After a while, I don't know who to believe anymore. Well, the other day I was at my bank, they got signs all over there. At this bank, you have a friend. Last month, I was two payments behind. My friend took away my car. <laughs> I tell you what, me, nothing comes easy, nothing, you know? Well, last week I saw my dentist. Not a beauty, my dentist. Yeah, I said to him, can you put in a new tooth to match my other teeth? He put in a tooth with four cavities. <laughs> <laughs> a tooth with four cavities, golly. Now, I tell you, last week was a rough week for me, you know, last week. I broke up my psychiatrist, too, last week. For the first time, I told him I got suicidal tendencies. He told me from now on, I have to pay in advance. <laughs> Well, the first time I saw a psychiatrist, I felt like two cents. I was a kid. I said to him, Doc, can you help me? All day long, he's thinking I'm ugly. He made me lay on a couch, face down. <laughs> wow. I tell you, when I was a kid, I got no respect. No respect at all, you know? The time I was lost on a beach, and a cop had me look for my parents. I said to the cop, I think we'll find them. He said, I don't know, kid, there's so many places I could hide. <laughs> <laughs> wow. When I was a kid, my old man, he didn't help either, you know. The time I asked my old man if I can go ice skating on a lake, he told me to wait till it gets warmer. <laughs> I'll tell you, sometimes I can't take it no more. Well, today I got two kids and that's rough too, you know. You can't talk to kids today. My boy's birthday last week, had a little party, brought out the cake, the kid blew out all the candles. I said to him, I hope your wish comes true. He said, if it does, that's the last time you'll watch me blow out candles. Oh! <laughs> A smart kid I got, you know. Like the last time I took my kid to Coney Island, I asked him if he wanted to go in a crazy house. He told me to save my money, he'll be home soon. <laughs> <laughs> he is funny, bro. Yeah, great. Uh, hey, here we are out with a couple of blondes. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, it's good to see you again. Uh, I've been a long see. time. I always get a kick out of coming out here. They treat you right over here. There's yeah. one place they treat you right. You there know, you I go. leave the club. I close this week in a club in New York. I, but I'll be back next Monday. You just close the, night. Lock it up completely? I lock the whole thing up for a week. Now I'll come back next Monday night, September 9th, and tell my jokes are going to danger fields. But it's always a kick to come out here. Yeah. Right? I love it out here. You know, I like to go to Vegas too. You know, Do you? I'm going to Vegas right, for a couple of days. I always go over there. You meet so many wonderful, wonderful people in Vegas. Uh -huh. you no idea. Want to, can, you, can you tell us about a few of them? Well, last time I was there, I met a lovely girl. Uh -huh. Oh, a lovely girl. Valerie Dubois. Valerie Dubois. Oh, a lovely girl. Valerie Dubois. In fact, she told me to call her VD for sure. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, forget that. Wonderful people out in Vegas. Yeah, really uh -huh. nice. Oh, Vegas really swings. They got the gambling there, the big Wild. hotels and yeah. nightclubs. Oh, that's what big nightclubs they got there. Yeah. It isn't really so different than the places I worked when I broke in, you know, the tough places. You work in a little joint, oh, right? Oh, I work tough place, you know, places like Rosario's Rocket Room. You know. Rosario's oh, Rocket yeah. Room? Yeah. Tough, yeah. tough, tough. Dominic's Atomic Bar and Grill. Oh, that was another one. Sure. <laughs> oh, Dominic, he was tough. Ooh, yeah, tough, Dominic. tough owner. During the show, he used to yell at the axe all the time. Yeah. yeah, one other guy was singing, Why was I born? He yelled out, Not to sing! You know, really. <laughs> That's a real heckler, Dominic. Oh, yeah. Bad news, yeah. yeah. Tell your show business, you gotta get the brakes. You gotta uh, get the brakes, Tony. I would have guessed so, yeah. I never got the brakes, never. Really? As a kid, I never got the brakes either, never. This has been following you all your life, you mean? I was rough when I was a kid. Yeah. I was a kid the first time I had my picture taken. The pony threw me. Oh. 
You got to try him out of town, right? You can't bring him in. Take him on a road to you. Take him on a road. You got to break him in. So you get the feeling you wasted your whole life. I don't know. It's not easy. I got no respect the day I was born. Really? No respect. The doctor picked me up and smacked me. I found out the nurse. She got a few in too. He is hilarious, bro. <laughs> we got to take a break here, but we were, so then we'll come right back and uh, find out how your health is, because I'm always interested. Comes out so much, I feel like I'm doing a magic act up here. Well, after this message of interest. <laughs> if you just happen to tune in late tonight, <laughs> I guess you're Miss Doris Day, Carol Wayne, and we are just listening to the trials and tribulations of Mr. Rodney Dangerfield as, as a youngster. Sometimes I think you... You're putting me on, but you did come from a rather oh, I had a very bad rough, background, very didn't you? I was a lonely kid, too, Johnny. Oh, yeah, I was lonely, 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 huh? Even in a park, I had no friends. Really? I remember the seesaw. I had to keep running from one end to the other. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, that's lonely. That's sad. I grew up, I was lonely, too, and I grew yeah, up. Yeah. I couldn't get dates with girls. Girls Why? Grew up with girls, they go for a guy with looks. Everything is looks, looks, you know? Yeah. But this thing's more important than looks. It's underneath what counts, soul, depth. Right. That's what's important, not looks. Yeah. Now, how many times take a walk in the street, you see a tall, handsome man walking arm in arm with a short, fat, ugly girl? I never saw that. Did you never saw that, that at all? I never saw that. <laughs> I thought I saw Probably that. had no soul or any depth there or anything. No, but looks don't mean nothing. Man, I got a niece, an ugly girl. She got married. She's happy. She married an ugly guy. Right. And today they got two very ugly kids. Ugly kids, <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, they're all so ugly in a family album. They only keep the negatives. The oh, man. I'll tell you what's more important than looks is love. You gotta have love. Love is and important. I got plenty of love in me, Johnny. That's plenty the main of love. I love a lot of things. Love. I love uh, sports, I love music, and right. one of my kids. <laughs> oh. <laughs> He said he loved one of his kids. Oh, my God. Dude, I, I bet you Johnny Carson, like, this was, like, the best talk show, like, to go on back in the days. I don't know that for sure because I'm pretty sure it was other uh, shows that a lot of comedians can go on. But it just seemed like the Johnny Carson show, like, was the number one show that all comedians went to. For some reason, this is how I feel. Kids, yeah. I got two kids. I love my yeah, kids. Yeah, you know, I know that. Kids, of course, but our boy gives me trouble lately. Yeah, really? <laughs> He's at the age now he copies everything. He sees something, he copies it, you know. This oh. kid imitates everything. Yeah. That's why we got rid of the dog. The old man. <laughs> <laughs> no, they're very impressionable at that age. The peculiar feeling is your son standing there with one leg up. Yes, I know what you mean, of course. Oh, you know man. But how? Uh, yeah. We didn't get rid of the dog. I was just kidding around. Yeah. That's all, you know. How's your... How's your health? Are you in good? Are you in good health? health? Very good, very good. There's no love in the house. That hurts my no health. No love in the house. Sure. Oh. <laughs> Excuse me, we weren't ready to go to health we yet. To to ah, I didn't know. I see. Okay. Sure. There's no love in the house, you know. Ah. You know, my wife's the easiest person to get along with. You know that. She's, yeah. Oh, my wife. You kidding? Uh, I can tell you stories of my wife sometimes. Yeah. Or else, we have a few drinks sometimes. I'll start talking. Really? When I drink, I talk. You know. I did. Well, my wife's a cold person, Johnny. Cold. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, her side of the water, but it's frozen. <laughs> Very cold place. Well, I never got love when I was a kid either. Yeah. My brother got the love. No, because he was much neater than I was. My room was messed up, but didn't care. My brother's room was in order. His towels lined up neatly, combs, brushes, hair lotions all in the right place. So what did it mean? What is he today? He's an attendant in a men's room. It didn't mean that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. It's embarrassing having your brother works in a men's room. People say, hey, Rodney, what kind of work your brother do? I don't know what to say. I tell me he's a business for himself. You know? Yeah, that's good. <laughs> they say, yeah, what kind of business? A big business? Well, I'll put it this way. If you closed up tomorrow, a lot of people would suffer. That's true. Oh, man. That's true. But the whole thing is you want to be happy? Do the work you like. That's what you're going to do, the work you like. Yeah. That's important. Do the work you like. And my friend, the doctor, Dr. Vinny Boombach, ah, yeah, he how is told he? me. <laughs> How is the doctor? The good most doctor. important thing is never take your work home with you. Don't take guys, your work they, home. They take their work home with them. Right. There's a guy in my neighbor, a traffic cop, a traffic cop for 20 years, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Can't forget he's a traffic cop. Takes his work home with him. It's ridiculous. Makes love to his wife. He tells her to pull over. Yeah, that's, that's, that's bad. What? That's bad. That's what you mean. It's very bad. You think you tell him to pull well, over? As long as you have your health, I suppose. Health that's is the most important thing. You know that, Johnny. Health. I mean, you mentioned before, but tennis. I mean, you got to cut out tennis for a while. I do, tennis yeah. is very good. When you get back in shape, play tennis. It's very good. I don't play tennis. I oh. can't play tennis. Why is that? I'm not the tennis type, you know. Yeah. Tennis, you got to be rich and come from Connecticut, you know. <laughs> Hi, we're taking Dad's car. That's Deuce, you know. I can't. Oh. <laughs> 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 now, but tennis is good. That's how you lose weight. You know, you burn up uh, 
energy, you lose calories that right. way. All, doctors say all kinds of exercise is great. You burn up uh, energy, you lose calories. Right. I mean, sure. in fact, doctors say when a man legs, makes love to a woman, he burns up energy, he loses 150 calories. I made love to a girl once, I lost even more. I lost 150 calories, my watch, and my wife. <laughs> <laughs> You gotta eat the right bro, right food. Right. Y'all remember the last one I did with Rodney Dangerfield? I said, bro, I don't even think this man write his jokes. I believe his stuff just it just come to his brain naturally. Like he he'll just sit there and think of something real quick and just can make it funny. Like I don't even think this man write his jokes at all. <laughs> Fish. Fish. Fish is important. Fish. Seafood. Bra brain seafood, food. Johnny. Yeah, seafood. Brain Very good. I know me. I love seafood. Uh -huh. I don't like seafood restaurants. Oh, really? Got no originality. They all yeah. got the same sign, you know? The fish you eat today slept last night in some bay. You know? I'll tell you, when I order fish, I'm only interested in how it's prepared. Mm -hmm. I don't care yeah. where the fish slept, if it slept, who it slept with to make no <laughs> <laughs> Why well, does it matter it where it was it? much better if it was bad morally. That's how I feel. <laughs> Any more fish is probably better. Fish is very good, yeah, though. Yeah, yeah. I don't like classy restaurants. Those classy seafood restaurants. Uh -huh. I mean, you order lobster before they cook it. Why did I have to show it to you for? <laughs> and once I was out with a girl, and I was trying to impress her. I like this girl, too, Johnny. Yeah. I took her to a nice place, had a few drinks, relaxing. It was beautiful, right. you know? Trying to impress the girl. It was nice, romantic. It was gorgeous. No way it came over, you know? Are these two okay? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the lobster came, I was really finished. I was trying to impress the girl how manly I was. You know, I sat in a manly position, I looked at her very manly, right. and then the waiter put a bib on me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't like classy restaurants. You don't like classy restaurants. I like to eat home. Home. Home, I don't have to worry about a tie and a jacket, nothing. You know, you want yeah. something else, no big production, but waiters, I open a refrigerator, I see what's around. Right. If I got a refrigerator at home, it's, I can't forget. It's very deceiving. Ah. My refrigerator, it's always full. There's nothing to eat. <laughs> we got things in our refrigerator like uh, a half a bottle of flat soda, <laughs> a cup with a broken egg in it. <laughs> this broken egg has been laying there for four months, just waiting for someone to scramble. <laughs> <laughs> we have one bottle of ketchup that we use. Then we have another bottle of ketchup. It's almost empty. It's been there now for a year and a half. <laughs> Uh, There's one thing more in our refrigerator, a big pot, takes up a whole shelf. And the only thing that's in this big pot is a half of boiled potato. Just sit there. And with my wife, you know, since I'm married, after every meal, I hear the same thing. Finish it, I'm only going to throw it out. <laughs> Somehow I get the feeling she only gives me to eat what she's going to throw out. <laughs> but do you annoy my wife, the way she serves a meal. Serves Ooh, badly? Terrible. No. I mean, you put down a steak. How do you forget the plate? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I bet you when he go home, his wife done be, wait, be uh, waiting on him to come home. So they be like, what you just say up on the TV show talking about us? <laughs> but man, like like I said, his jokes is just incredible because he, 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 they come so quick. Like he just keep it going, keep it going. It ain't no slowing down or nothing. He keep them jokes coming. Wow, shout out to Rodney Dangerfield, man. Another great one. I told y'all, man, y'all said y'all wanted more. I'm definitely going to do more of his video because he is hilarious, especially on the uh, Carson show, Johnny Carson show. But uh, we have made it to the end. Make sure y'all leave a like on the video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, and i catch y'all in the next one.